burn, my pretties. Burn more fire. <laughs> How are you doing and how have you been? This is the Queen's Pit and we're gonna have a good time, party people! I haven't even clicked play yet. Oh, it's all been broken. Let's go on speed through. Remind me what we were doing, apart from killing our children. Okay, you're actually gonna die in there. Ha! <laughs> Just starting off with killing kids, it's fine, it's fine. Have we got any wood? Right, I'm gonna have to build another cooler here. I don't really want to do it, but to make sure we don't lose someone here. Starting off every episode with imminent doom. Growth moment, I'll sort that out in a minute. Let me just sort out these temperatures. Should be okay, especially with night coming in. I'm watching this then we'll do the growth moment. I need this percentage to drop. It should do. Dromedies, joint. There we go. Right, I'll push this back up. 22. Right, there we go. Right, slaughter that. Growth moment. Okay. So, Pope, after all that, so basically we have a heat wave at the moment and it's killing people. Two coolers in the medical bay isn't actually that bad because then if we ever get that in the future and people get brought into the medical room, um, to be fair, we've got the electric, we've got the resources to do it, so it's no worries. Anyway, Collie Wobblers, what can we do with you? No great traits here. Three skills for passion. I'm tempted. Right, I'm going to do construction. Artistic. No, I'm going to do construction. I'm going to do melee. Because we do need some of these to be melee. However, there's no great traits here. Sadly. So now if I do this later, hang on. Let me have a look at their genes and the other two children. Baseline and hybrid. Hybrid is strong melee damage. Slow wound healing is quite negative. Collie wobbler. Okay. So really everything's on Dungaroo. Hopefully being able, yeah, get melee. You've got strong melee damage. So Dungaroo is definitely going to be a melee. Okay. So Collie, Wobbler, we won't worry about as much. I might put something in melee just in case. Just in case. Um, cooking, artistic shooting. Intellect. I might go into shooting. To hedge our bets. But then equally, Dungaroo. No, we're not even on Dungaroo. Collie Wobblers then can still be the hoarder and cleaner. So we make sure we still got that. And then we've got a tray. Ugh. Nothing that fun here, is there? A great memory. Psychically deaf. So does that mean for like the psychic like drones that affects? So I might pick that. Or great memory. Great memory, I don't think matters. So I'll pick this just because I don't think great memory matters because we're going to be... Yeah. Not the best growth moment, but... Uh, can you construct yet? Can only do it 10. Okay. Okay, there we go, party people. So, what are we going to achieve this episode? So, if we can get some more growth moments for Dungaree and Dungaroo, that would be awesome. 
And we do have some bionic parts. So hopefully we can continue that to go. So bionic arm. Move that to scissors. Left arm. Pause. There we go. Okay. Okay, pie people. So I think we're in a really good point. Food we do need to keep an eye on. There's nothing on the map just because of the heat stroke. Sorry, heat stroke. I think the heat wave has actually gone. Which is handy. It's just a case of... Just a case of C or L. Just a case of seeing what else is going to happen for us. I think we're in a really, really good spot, though. I do feel confident. Uh, some more steel underground. We have got the deep drill over here. Reinstall that over there. Do we want some more kids or are we happy with the amount of people we've got is a big, big question. I think we need to allow the food stocks to recover just because that all that corn burning before has like impacted us really greatly. I would like to see a bigger attack to actually see how we can manage it. I'd like to think with all the bionic bits that we're getting, we're going to be quite strong. But obviously, it's hard to make that judgment before it actually happens, do you know what I mean? you do I'm just seeing if there's any like uh, arm parts body parts that we can replace all right so anyone that's doing smithing is gonna get priority on trout right farm Add Bionic Arm. Add that to Trout, because Trout does smithing, so it makes sense to then get the Bionic Arm sorted. There we go. Right, so, and there's Randy Chuck something. He is just going to allow us to keep progressing. So then it just comes into the same old conversation. How can we make sure this progression is like really like we make the most of it? I think the fact that we've got recon helmets on nearly everyone is amazing. And, you know, I'm allowed to pat myself in the back for that. Do you know what I mean? I don't blow my trumpet all the time, but when I blow my trumpet, I blow my trumpet the best. <laughs> I don't know what I say sometimes. Where are these elephants? Right. Are they all gone manhunted? Yep. I mean, I just create problems for myself. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, elephant revenge. Right, grab these. I'm so good at combat, aren't I? <laughs> I'm so good at combat. I love when I stress you out. Like the party people watching just getting stressed out the way I like Skizzers is like Skizzers knows what he's doing. Just don't don't question it. Skizzers should only be known. The Golden Gods! As the Golden Gods. My melee people. We love them. They shouldn't love us. Trout. 
trout. Hunt. Hunt. Right, there we go. Hunt the hare, hunt the rat. Times are desperate, times are desperate. I'm like, I feel like I'm full copium. The food will sort itself. The food will sort itself just like rocking in the corner. It will party people, I promise. I'm not gonna let you down. Poor vagabonds. Eight desperate refugees. Nah! Nah! We actually have recon helmets on every one because I don't actually think they'll fit on the kids at the moment. So that's actually really good. Wow, so we're about to complete recon, sorry, marine armor. Let me see what I need to make because I would like the melee people to be in marine stuff because I abuse melee people. So at least if I give them the best armor, they're abuse worthy. I don't know if that holds up in court, so. Four advanced components, a hundred plus still. It's not actually that crazy. Right, pause. And then just have two held back. There we go. So recon helmets, marine, and then these two will do the bionic parts. I would like that bionic stomach done. Is the fact that a leader doesn't have a stomach is just not. It doesn't sit nicely with me. Do you know what I mean, party people? It's not good enough for the colony. Wildlife. The corn harvest is going to come. I honestly do think it's <laughs> like. <laughs> I <laughs> honestly think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. I've heard you say that 162 times. Oh, plastic. Oh, be somewhere nice. Get him. Hot damn! Right there. Very nice. So we've got some steel over there. Right, there we go. So then we can get that plastic up. That's coming in good time. Because Randy needs to really step up his game. I'm curious what Randy can actually do to us at the minute. Do you know what I mean? I'm very curious. Like, there's certain parts in series where I feel like we're really, really good. This is one of them moments. The minute we have recon armor, just because I know... It's not the fact that, like, I'm lazy with attacks. It's just, like, I get to the point where it's like, oh, I know I can deal with, like, silly things, so I try and be a bit more aggressive. Because the more aggressive we can be at attacks <laughs> means the less damage we take. And on 500%, on 500%, the main problem, and obviously, you know, welcome to my TED talk, but the main problem when you're on 500% is the ability for Randy to hit you at 500% difficulty multiple times in a row. 
So I feel like how this colony's done so well is we've prioritized the cleanup job afterwards, which has been a massive problem in numerous colonies of mine. And not being able to clean up dead bodies and stuff like that afterwards, which has been such... With such, like... The mood loss from all them bodies has then staggered and just, like, broken us. But I feel like this is very Cowboy Nation-esque, where we're in control of our own destiny now. But... The different problem we have is we need to be accepting a lot more quests. Because we need to get Laura up in royalty as much as possible so we can complete the game. Looking at quests... So it will be the royal visitor that we need to complete. And we need a colonist with the title of Count or Countess. And a free, very, very good bedroom. And we look at Laura now. Dame on five. We've got a long way to go. But what that means is then we've got a long way to do to actually collect all the resources. Build all the stuff we need to build. So... Um, else could we do? I'm tempted to get cocoa. The problem is, is where do we put it? I wouldn't mind it just for the recreation boost that it does give. However, I don't feel we've got space for it. Like, we could potentially grab some of that, but doesn't really seem all that worth it. Okay. Finding stomach is done. Way. Let's get that in you, girl. I think you deserve it. Uh, bionic stomach. Let's get you in here. And Von can do the business. Operate. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hopefully this goes well. Fingers crossed. Get him. Love this medical room. I'm going to reinstall... No, I'll leave it there. Okay, so we have a bionic leg. Like we are full bionic partying now. I need to keep an eye on movement. So Koi, I'll give it to you to try and help you move a little bit quicker. Because especially how I combat I like being able to move like in areas like like fighting here then moving out here so if everyone can move as quick as possible that would be really banging however it's just a case of now how can we get plastil as quickly as possible how can we do them other sexy things right Just tempting, how many long range scanners would we like to build? Probably just the one. I'm gonna build it there. Pause. I do, I just wanna make sure it's a little bit protected in case people drop down. Obviously it's not gonna be protected that crazy but right there we go and we'll put that over there just to spread things out as well so if one major problem does happen it doesn't destroy every resource in the colony all at once kill some more hairs get some shooting up get some materials just helps a little bit with the food so we need quests randy so bring it on please
Right, and I do need to keep an eye on people that's bored. However, all the people I'm researching are now just going on the ground penetrating scanners. Hopefully then the long range scanner, which we do have all the resources for, which is nice. There's some chairs in there. Do you need some more miners? Okay. Is Squib doing mining? Yeah, he's doing drilling. Um, so I'm going to reinstall that over there and I'm going to uninstall that deep drill. I think just getting both the deep drill people on Plastil and focusing on that is more... is. A lot better. Devil Strand. There we go. Power Conduit to get that long range scanner up. And then we'll probably put our transport pods over here as well. Don't actually know. Can't remember where they are, boss. To be fair, I'll probably just go like down here, so I'll just do like one, two, three. I don't know, something like that. But we'll worry about that when we get some long range scanner stuff in. And we found some silver. In the, in the pollution zone. Why is that not popped? Why has that not popped yet? Are we just getting lucky? The thing is, it's... Because part, <laughs> part of me thinks we haven't been attacked a lot. The problem is, is I'm still... I think the base design and where we are is very handy. Where our base before and the last place that we were, because we were in the center of the map, I just couldn't deal with that. 32. So we'll say 60. We'll say over 90. They will prepare for a while. Everyone's in area one. Like, let's make sure everyone's equipped in weapons. Dungaroo. I would actually... We're going to jump on the mortars because I'm always really bad about doing this. We could probably destroy quite a few people. Uh, let me see where... Do I want incendiary? I don't think I do. Let's go. Uh, high explosive. Let's go, go, go. This is why we've got all these high explosives. Right, so you two... Target that person now. Doesn't seem like any damage there. Uh, I can see transport pod crashed. I can see you're going to die. You're going to die. And the mortars are going to keep raining down on them. That was some good hits. That was some strong hits there. T three people are dead. What I probably... I don't want to burn this too early. We can have a slight problem because some of it's not built. It does still count as indoors. So Jess, come and get Molotov cocktails. Draft you up here. Some breakdowns over here. 
They are literally tanking these shots. Okay, so now I'm going to pause. Okay, now they're beginning their assault. Jess, come down to the middle. Come here. Come across here. Burn all that. Now come over here. I'm watching the temperature just to make sure Jess doesn't get caught out here. Then Jess, come here. So yeah, this is the first time I've actually put effort into burning this box. And we're all already at 215 uh, degrees. And the amount of fire that then they have to run through. So. I'm looking for a gun. I'm looking for a gun. I can see snipers. I suppose, to be fair. Right, let's just grab everyone. Draft. Right, this is a lot. 83. We have weakened them a lot. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. It's not as for a change. It's not as. Same. Probably the same person bleeding out, but... Right. Right, keep throwing the Molotov cocktails down there because it will create more problems for them. Uh, heavy SMGs out front. Laura, come down there. Where's Laura? Combat. Right, they're up to 300 degrees. So if we have a look, I think they should be all on heat stroke, taking burn damage just because of the pure damage. And then they have to run through all these layers of fire to actually get to us. So this is a proper display of burn box. And we got it up very quick now. It would be even more deadly if we had these doors because they'd have to go even longer round. But this is the damage. I was a bit lazy before. This is us in full flow. This is us burning them. Burn! Flee! Are we the baddies? Burn, my pretties. Burn! More fire! Alright, <laughs> uh, let's go speed through. Oh, they're not even getting to me. Yeah, they're all fleeing. There we go. Yeah. Now we need to keep an eye on how quickly we can clean this up once they are all gone. And the reason why I like it concert, Laura is holding a concert. <laughs> she loved the burning just as much as me. The burning ring of fire. Like, I love this. Uh, Dunkaroo. What was that? Oh, go frenzy. I thought I missed a growth moment then. <laughs> and Laura's going to celebrate this. Parkins in disguise, maybe. And what I like about heating it to this degree is then the potential. Just sorting out the. This is not in your zone. Why? Look, this is why I get so stressed out about zones. Why are you beating out a fire outside your zone? Do you know what I mean? You shouldn't be leaving your zone. I'm just going to draft everyone just to reset what they're doing. Because if we burn it to this degree, then a lot of stuff in it is going to self-burn and clean itself. Like a lot of this is just tut. Later on, 
has the bad side because we're going to lose some resources that we want. But all in all, I think this is a better way to do it. We do need the wood to obviously keep coming in to put on the floor. I just like doing it that way. I know it's not the most efficient, but it just makes me feel really fun. This room is reaching 800 odd degrees and we can see most of the stuff is burnt, which is brilliant. We have got obviously the little bit of trees in here that's coming in. I need to wait until this temperature goes down, otherwise we'll just get super heated the minute we go in. I'm going to wait for the temperature to hit about 100 degrees and then go down. What blocks? Alright, going down. Unrestrict. Very nice job. A very, very good job. Um, yeah, I mean, I made you all proud there. It's time to make Daddy proud. Recon helmet left over. Bionic part. Like, we're in full flow. Uh, leg. Just checking for people with lack of movement, that sort of stuff. Yeah, your movement's up to 76 now, which helps, but not great. Right. Right by neglect. No, not Laura, sorry, Vaughn. Operate. Nice. So what is Vaughn's medical skill at the moment? 15. Another beauty. Is there anything else we can be doing at the moment? I think we're rocking it. No cleanup yet. Okay, we are getting someone on the long-range scanner. Unknown gold. Oh, there we go. There's our first long-range scanner. Down there, so we will need to use the transport. actually like to get animals like i don't mind doing the transport pods i just find it so much easier just to have some horses and spend the extra day i suppose on the difficulty we're on we can't really afford to be spending that much time away from the base but clean up job going really really quickly i think it's really handy we can just burn them in here so they just get hauled straight to this room and we just burn them everyone's unrestricted yeah Not getting enough plastilin. Would be nice as you get a mech attack, but obviously if it doesn't have it, we don't get it, you know. Tempted to get some gun links, but I wonder if we don't really need that. That's a bit too much. We got anyone that's like missing noses and stuff because we're at the point where we're really like got eyes that are missing so we do need to start replacing some eyes plus they'll help i imagine for shooting 
nose shattered. So let's go flesh shaping. I need the wildlife to build back up so then the animal pulsar that we have will be a little bit more useful. I mean, it's just great, isn't it, party people? It's great when we get to this point in a series where we're just rocking it. Like, I'm looking around, I'm like, obviously we need the plasteel and whatnot. That's the big bit that we're stuck on. Forced. Pause. Okay, this is a quest that I've always struggled with. We are going to do it, so we're going to accept. Accept the Laura. Right, I'm always terrible with this quest. They're going to come up there. Jess, is there any weapon? What is your shooting? Shooting is 12. Um, come get the sniper rifle. Our better shooters get a sniper rifle. Especially if you don't have a helmet, come get a sniper rifle. And then the kids can then make sure they're getting heavy SMGs. Right, now I'm going to draft everyone. Because I'm always so slow doing this. Because they're going to pop over here. They might pop over here and get... So, I'll sit all my people here so I've got time to respond. Like, I'd prefer if they came over here because then they'd have to come through here. But they'll probably pop over there. I don't really know. Right, pause. Melee people, snipers. Just separating people. Right, there we go. Shuttle arriving, because we're always so slow to deal with this. Laura doesn't have combat command, sadly. Heat stroke, that's fine. But this is a nice bit of honour that we can get if we can achieve this. Yeah, they came in this way. Well, okay, they're actually quite geared. Problem is, I don't want to push too far forward. I'm gonna have to take this with the respect that it deserves. Right. Move up. I'm going to put them in lines. There we go. Melee people up front. So these we have to protect. So these don't mind if they die. It is quite a lot of them. 34. But if we can take them out. That's such a tasty bit. I don't know how long I've been on that scene. I'm sorry. I'm really bad with the scenes. So there we go. We've got the melee up front. But if we can defend them, we've got snipers, we've got weapons, we've got shield packs. I would like to go quite aggressive because then we'll get 10 honor on Laura. So to put that in perspective, will that get us the next bit? Don't actually know. So the next is Praetor. We need 10. It would actually get us it. Yeah, it would actually get us up. So it's quite important. However, we don't want a silly death here. And this is quite a tough fight. So, as Tazastical style happens, let's end on that bombshell. 
If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, please sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.